The polling group over Gallup puts out an annual list of the most important problems facing the United States every year. And in 2016, shockingly, climate change and gun control really ranked amongst the lowest issues that Americans are really concerned about. Nobody cares about all the fear-mongering about guns or the fear-mongering about climate change. Now, every year, the anti-gun lobby wastes millions and millions and millions of dollars. But they have utterly failed to move the needle on gun control. And the same really applies to climate change hysteria, too, man-made climate change. Joining me now is Brittany Hughes, the assistant editor over at MRC TV. Brittany, welcome to the show. So not a lot of Americans are really concerned about climate change or guns, despite what we hear from Al Gore and Michael Bloomberg. Yeah, you know, it's really funny. These fear taxes, they just they simply haven't worked. And apparently, and fancy this, Americans have more going on in their lives than being terrified of a little extra rainfall. Um, it turns out that the top issue ranked number one among most Americans as their number one concern is the economy, which, you know, makes sense because it's something that actually hits you in your pocket. It's something that, you know, impacts your daily life. Other things that Americans were concerned about were unemployment and jobs and immigration. Right. And it's real funny because you start to see how these issues are what made up Donald Trump's platform heading into November. And everybody was shocked that he won. And then Gallup comes out with a poll saying that the things that he ran on, the things that made up his platform, were actually the things that most Americans cared about. You know, because when your health insurance premiums are spiking, when you can't pay your bills, um, you know, you're not concerned that Sri Lanka got another inch of rainfall and that we need to send them another $3 billion. That's just not your top concern. So, you know, it's, it's really amazing and I think kind of exposes how much the liberal platform is really out of touch with what everyday Americans say is important to them. No, that's exactly true. And, and to your point as well, all of the all of the uh, concerns, for the lack of a better way to put it, that were on this list, all of the ones that were at the very bottom, that's what we saw Hillary Clinton, that she campaigned on that. You know, she did. And, and the two of the, the bottom issues were, you know, probably not unsurprisingly, but they were climate change mm -hmm. and guns. And, you know, Gallup actually came out with another poll just a few months ago that we reported on showing that support for an assault weapons ban is at an all-time low among Americans. More Americans actually think that we shouldn't be banning assault weapons. And of course, it kind of makes sense because, you know, a lot of Americans probably couldn't tell you what an assault weapon actually is accurately. Um, but, you know, they're not interested in these attacks on the Second Amendment. They're not interested in, you know, all of this rhetoric and spending billions and billions of dollars to fight some fictitious climate boogeyman that everybody says is out there, you know, but nobody can, you know, show them how in the world this is impacting their daily lives, probably because it's not. But they are concerned about things like their health insurance premiums going up. They are concerned about things like the fact that our national debt is at $20 trillion and it's double what it was eight years ago. They're concerned about these things and they're concerned what it means for their children. And that, that makes absolute sense. And it's, it's shocking to me how many politicians, frankly, on both sides of the aisle, but particularly somebody like, somebody like Hillary Clinton, who was running for president, could not understand that this was this was what Americans actually cared about, you know, and so to just keep repeating these same lines and to keep attacking the same old straw men to me is they're doing themselves a disservice. But I, I guess it, it makes sense that I don't know, maybe we don't want them to be in touch with it because it certainly seems to be working out for conservatives. No, that's that's true. And that's I think you you made the, the best point because people who are in middle America, people who live in Kentucky, people who live in Kansas, they don't really want Al Gore to lecture them. They're just trying to figure out how they're going to keep the lights on. And in Kentucky, they're just worried about how they're going to keep their jobs after Hillary Clinton was saying she was going to destroy all coal jobs. Well, if they don't learn from this data, Brittany, they're going to be doomed to repeat their failures. And we're going to keep seeing more losses accumulate for that side of the aisle. Brittany Hughes, assistant editor at MRC TV. We'd love to have you back. Merry Christmas, Brittany. Thank you so Merry much. Merry Christmas, Christina.